Here it is, guys. South Pole. The A1 pod, and that's the A4 pod. Minus 63 degrees right now. Woo! It's just hard to explain what it feels like. Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, it's Zane here, South Pole. Um, I'm going to take you outside really quickly. Um, today is the 20th. It is the day before sunrise. So I want to show you what it looks like outside on Wednesday, September 20th. Right now it is minus 62.9 degrees outside. The wind is at 12.8 knots, giving us a wind chill of 99.7 degrees Fahrenheit. So pretty chilly. It is definitely... There's a lot of blowing snow, ice crystals outside. Um, there's no actual snow falling. Uh, here at the South Pole, snow just blows around. Uh, it comes from different parts of the continent. It blows in typically from a, a single direction. I'm just gonna go out real quick, so I will show you how I get ready for a quick, just a quick outdoor adventure. We're only gonna go out for a few minutes, not too long. So I got my 800 fill marmot jacket. Um, definitely more than enough for minus 62. Um, so we'll put on a, start with the, the balaclava. So that's kind of head, neck. This is by Smartwool. And then from there, we'll go with the uh, the neck gaiter and keep that inside the jacket. We'll put on our hat. This is a nice and soft lined hat on the inside. And then since uh, I'm not going to be really taking my hands out of my gloves, I've got some Kinko insulated thick gloves here so next thing we'll do is just zip it up put the hood on and that's how we're gonna go out so I've just got my jeans on with a 250 weight base layer um, and again it's, it's minus 63 outside so it's not a uh, crazy crazy cold so let's go check it out. See, it's what the South Pole looks like tonight. Oh yeah, it is uh, 6.40 p.m. We don't have internet anymore, so um, I just got back from the store. Store's open on Wednesday. And you can see, look how much light there is because tomorrow the sun's coming up. Look at that. So let's go check it out. This is what it's like here at the South Pole Station, just a normal, normal day. So we are gonna open the door. And out we are. So here it is guys. South Pole. It's not too, too bad. I'm only gonna be out here for a few minutes, but uh, once you kind of get under the station, the wind comes in, so I can really feel it right now. Uh, it's always good to have your back to the wind. But like I said, the wind is always generally coming from that direction, and it's blowing this way. You've seen in some other videos, the power plant exhaust kind of going that way, so. It never really deviates from that. This is the A pod right here, the A1 pod. That's the A4 pod. And then there's two more wings to the elevated station here. That's the vertical tower, um, or colloquially, colloquially known as the beer can. Uh, underneath this snow here are two arches, one for the VMF, the vehicle maintenance facility, and the other one for supply or logistics. So, yeah, that's it. South Pole, bottom of the earth. Sometimes it's just incredible to, to, to know that you're here. 
I mean, look at this giant snow drift right here. Normally in the summer, this was all flat. You could actually see through this. Um, so, yeah, this is it. This is, uh, <coughs> excuse me. Sometimes it's so cold, it's hard to breathe. You cough. Um, I haven't been outside today. So this is my first time coming out. Yeah, the snow is extremely cold. You don't want to touch it at minus 63 degrees right now. It is gonna really hurt. Um, you don't want to try to eat it. It'll burn your tongue and maybe burn your fingers. So you don't want to be out here too long without proper clothing. Like right now, I've just got jeans on. I don't want to be out here for more than you know 10 minutes and I'm, I'm at the station exit so I can just get back if needed. Uh, but if I was going to walk out, you know, down here, I would definitely, with these winds right now, I, will, I would want to be, um, you know, with my quilted overalls and, and more layers than this. So, yeah, there's a nice wind on your face. Minus 99 degrees. Woo! Jeez, cold. Man, it's just hard to explain what it feels like. Uh, it's really... Uh, a phenomenon unlike any other the cold here just it penetrates it bites it has no mercy and it will kill this is one of the most hostile environments on earth if not the most hostile environment i mean it is just surreal truly like uh, another planet out here i really imagine living here is what living life you know like living on the moon or on mars um geez and mars it it gets warmer at the equator on mars in the day with sun than it ever gets here ever so think about that another planet warmer like an icy planet is warmer than the south pole but thanks for watching guys you can already see my mustache has uh has kind of frozen over. I'll take you up before the GoPro dies. One floor. And give you a nice view here. The day before sunrise. One more day and the sun will break the horizon. The sun set here on March 23rd, 2023. And it's due to rise on 21 September 2021 here at South Pole. So that's tomorrow. We're all excited. It's been a long, long long winter with no light i tell you it's just surreal when it's so dark all the time um it's unlike anything else i mean again it's like being on another planet like the dark side of the moon i guess just no light no sun so cool cool let's head inside thanks you guys so much for watching um, these these videos I've been making before uh, sunrise so again thanks for watching and if you guys have any comments any questions about the South Pole please let me know uh, wherever this video is posted Instagram Facebook YouTube I don't know uh, leave a comment and uh, let me know what you think what you uh, what your questions are I mean not a lot of people get to come here so I'm the 1,700 second person to winter over at the South Pole, so very unique in its own right. Um, let's get inside. So yeah, here we are back inside. Mustache is already getting better. I uh, hope the camera doesn't turn off. It should. It shouldn't. Um, I kind of don't want to touch it with my bare hands. It's so probably really cold. I imagine the lens is going to frost over, or have some condensation on it here. 
filming and, and videography and, and all that stuff is just really difficult here at South Pole. Um, you have to have custom, custom, uh, you know, housing enclosures for your cameras. I mean, I take this GoPro out, it's likely to, to it, it dies after five to 10 minutes of filming. I mean, where else on earth do cameras do that? That's it. My face will be a little red um, for a while, but there's no uh, no pain, no no any sort of damage uh, to me from that. Again, it was only seven minutes or so that we were out there together. Um, but had I, you know, ventured off um, and conditions worsened. You know, it can get really bad really quick. You can't see anything. You don't know where you're walking. And uh, the cold is serious, and we take it seriously here. And like I said, you know, we always have our radios. Um, you know, and I, I, like, as I said, I don't want to venture too far away from the exit of the station without proper gear on, especially on the bottoms. Um, so, yeah. That's about it. Um gonna get ready for bed lay down do some reading um tomorrow's sunrise so i'll take you outside hopefully we have clearer weather than we did out there now as you can see the horizon wasn't very visible um weather was pretty bad so i mean the wind was not terrible but there was blowing snow and ice crystals in the air so it you know long range visibility was was definitely down um let's see what our we can actually check what was our latest visibility. Uh, so the latest visibility was 3,000 meters, so about 10,000 feet. Um, not terrible, um, but definitely not unrestricted. So thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. I got about 38 uh, days left until we get our first plane if it's on time so we're all excited and um yeah life here at the south pole um hope you guys like it again like i said earlier leave a comment whatever and uh i'll try to answer it and give you my uh, personal advice and my from my experience here so take care guys bye